Hi Marlies. Hi Marlies, it's Helena at long last. It's really great to be filming outside Buck Pal for you. And today we're going to be talking about the Royal Welcome, which is the new summer exhibition at Buckingham Palace. It is, it is. It started the other day and it's going on till the 27th of September, so we've still got a great run. And it's a really special exhibition focusing on hosting guests at the palace and all visitors are going to be treated like royalty. And part of this exhibition, Marlies, is this time-lapse video. It normally takes nine days to put a state banquet together. But in this time-lapse video, a few seconds of which we're now going to show, you'll see the type of thing that all the visitors, Buckham Palace, summer exhibition, the royal welcome, will see, Marlies. So for the first time ever, Marlies, visitors to the summer opening will enter the 19 staterooms through the grand entrance. Now this is normally used by the, um, the heads of states and prime ministers and special, special guests that the Queen invites, so not the general public, so this is a very special treat. Last year the Royal Family welcomed more than 62,000 guests to Buckingham Palace. State visits, receptions, garden parties, investitures etc. And this year displays throughout the state rooms, uh, which obviously were built to entertain, will have lots of settings for these occasions. So what are we going to see? We're going to find out what goes on behind the scenes, the hard work and the intricate preparations to create the magic and magnificence of the state visit. From dresses that have been decided for the Queen to food made in the royal kitchens and porcelain chosen for the state banquet. The centrepiece of the exhibition is the Palace Ballroom and it has a horseshoe shaped table which is transformed for state banquets with glittering silver gilt from George IV's Grand Service and the Queen sits at the centre of the top table. Interestingly she takes a great part in, in, in um, the preparation, she approves the menu and wine and in the afternoon she comes to check how the place setting is and thank the staff which is lovely. Um, real specialities, intricacies, they actually churn the butter in the kitchens, cut them into thin little circles and in fact stamp every single one with the royal seal and they're placed every, in individual little silver butter dishes which I think just shows the intricacy of everything, nice little touch. And one of the most famous rooms in the palace is the White Room, Melisse. Now this is normally where, if you have an evening event at the palace, this is where all the guests congregate in the first place. And there is this very, very famous mirror in the White Room that where women look at themselves just to make sure they're properly presented for the royal family. What they don't know is, is that mirror is actually a door. And behind that door is the anteroom where the royal family congregates to have their glass of pims or whatever before they actually enter the main room and of course then they can open the door up and all of a sudden look at these shocked ladies who thought they were just looking at themselves in the mirror and then suddenly see they're actually looking at the royal family so Melise, that is really sort of the type of thing that you'll see at Buckingham Palace the other thing that is really of great interest is how many people each year go to garden parties at Buckingham Palace. So Helena, guess how That's many <laughs> people each year actually come to the Buckingham Palace garden parties? 8,000 Ian, 8,000 guests turn up and they consume about 27,000 cups of tea and 20,000 sandwiches and 20,000 cakes. And they're served by 400 of the Buckingham Palace staff as well. So Melise, that is what you can expect this year. And finally Melise, there's been stories going in all the American stations at the moment saying that Buckingham Palace is falling down. Don't you believe it? The reality is Buckingham Palace is as solid as ever it's a wonderful place to come to and now we are really pleased to be talking about it again so for me and from me helena it's bye bye